Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage and in this video um, I'm actually gonna be showing you kind of like almost like full procedure on how to uh, you know take care of your uh, Specific door in this case. I'll actually be working on the right rear uh, Door and I'll be you know pulling the door panel off and I'll be cleaning everything You know inspecting everything for you know and preserving uh, the door from the inside lubricating the window regulator and door stop as well So please stay tuned. This is really good information and you know you will actually be able to apply this to any of your uh, cars, you know, and yeah, and unfortunately, I just wanted to apologize because I already filmed this video, and you know, it's gonna be during the nighttime, uh, so it's gonna be a little dark, but it's still gonna be uh, pretty nice, and you guys will be able to see what I'm doing there, uh, and yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for all your support and all your likes and comments. You guys are amazing. Thank you for supporting me, and thank you for supporting each other. Uh, that's how we are. We're just, uh, you know, we're family, right? So. Yeah, anyways, uh, like I said, uh, I already started working on all the doors, so in this video I'll just be focusing on the right rear door, you know, I'll, I'll be uh, uh, working on that and, um, you know, there's really good information and at the end of the video you will see um, that actually I, uh, no, you won't be able to see, but what, what I did at the end of the video is I actually uh, also pulled the uh, bottom door seal uh, and actually inspected for rust and preserved it with fluid film so everything is nice and good uh, and that door will never ever rust or anything like that it's it's great guys you should guys do the same thing to your car uh, it's actually called pre preventive maintenance and preservation is one of the key things uh, in any car uh, out there uh, you want to make sure you preserve them so nothing starts rusting the rust will never come to your car will never attack your car if you preserve it properly you know by uh, using wheel bearing grease fluid film whatever it is you know um, it's gonna actually help out a lot so you guys should consider that anyways let's go to the video you guys enjoy sit back and see you soon I guess it's getting late but the job is waiting so what we're gonna do is I already lowered this window and it's actually pretty like slow going down and up and also cover this up just in case because it's a little rainy uh, you know Washington uh, and all that stuff so I'm ready to I'm gonna be uh, removing this door panel uh, today you know unfortunately I don't have much time so um, in a day that's why i'm doing it during this time when it's about to get dark but i need to get this job done so i'm starting with this door panel i'm gonna remove it right now i'm not gonna really show you how it's done i have a lot of videos i think on how i you can do it or you can also search up other videos and stuff so uh it's pretty simple a couple screws phillips screws here a screw right there a screw right there and then this one and then usually this thing just pops out but it's got clips and then you will pull it off uh, and all that it's not that bad the main thing I lowered the window because I need to get in there and I need to lubricate the window regulator and also need to remove the door stop and lubricate that as well let's get started okay everything is removed um, and I already popped the door panel out and I'm about to actually lift it off so as soon as you pop all these screws you have to lift it off of here okay and you also have to remove this knob which i did as soon as i take this off i'm gonna wipe this panel down uh, nicely and then put it inside the car so before you pull this panel off completely uh, actually reach in there and disconnect okay and then after that you will be able to um, lift this panel off nicely without any issues all right door panels out as you can see uh, this is the electrical connector I was talking about okay uh, make sure you unplug that use like a screwdriver or something to uh, you know work this thing out of the uh, actual switch um, and be careful and here's the panel it's sitting safe inside the car and I left the switch in place all right I didn't pull it out or anything okay right now my goal is to and I'm really happy nobody's ever been here because this film is all factory here so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna 
carefully start peeling this back slowly and later on I'll eventually of course uh, reseal this but I need to lubricate everything here door lock mechanism all these lines right there that go in there I have to lubricate all that and I also have to lubricate the door uh, the window regulator and in here that I'm gonna remove this door uh, stop okay I have to lubricate that so it doesn't go bad yeah the door stop is still good in this car I'll show it to you later but it's still good it's not making any cracking noises or anything like that all right so I need to take it out and preserve it I'll make sure it's all good protect it it's basically like a protect, uh, preventative maintenance all right so that's what I'm going to do right now look how beautiful it is here it looks like it still has some factory grease left in here but it's not so much so definitely adding more and i'm adding trans fluid into where the motor is and those areas and i also need to make sure that this regulator is not loose sometimes these these nuts come loose so i'll double check that as well um and oh this looks really nice guys uh this looks amazing uh, I'll definitely fluid film all this area either way and I need to get to that door stop right there okay let me get started guys be very careful when you're hammering out this uh, pin out of there this is a hammer and I have a, a rag around it so I don't scratch the paint or anything okay this thing is almost out I'm gonna take it out there is also plastic washer don't lose that okay here it is it's out as you can see the grease in there is dry pretty much so I have to clean it really nice and then grease it up again and reinstall this bad boy all right guys after cleaning and lubricating the doorstop this is what we have it's really nice also use some ATF uh, automatic trans fluid inside of those bushings okay and right now I'm ready to install this bad boy back in All right, guys, I'm almost done with this door. I peeled this film a little bit here so I could get to the locks and spray a bunch of ATF in there as well as uh, inside of where the door handle is. Some right there as well. Uh, literally doing the, like the whole 100% maintenance on it. And also this handle got lubricated. And then here's what I did on the inside. So on the inside put the grease right here as well as fluid film all right also lubricated those uh tracks right there the track um door stop and also the window regulator so it has the teeth you can't see the teeth right there but it has teeth that i actually put a lot of grease on and also sprayed uh atf onto all the joints and also that top right there as you can see the grease right there so it's really nice to have a gopro and show you guys how you know i did all this stuff all right so and then as soon as i'm ready i will uh, reinstall this film uh using a silicone sealant clear silicone sealant and that's it i'm gonna wait for this thing to dry up and then that's it i will just uh install the door panel back so as you know these handles sometimes they become really loose and then they're junk it's because of lack of lubrication so i'm gonna remove this thing right now and i'm gonna put grease in there uh where the rod goes through that way once this moves like that it's gonna have lubrication and it's not gonna wear out it's gonna last for 100 years side door handle about to put grease in there and reinstall my rod also gonna put grease right there and all these joints darkness darkness but the progress never stops uh, one more thing I wanted to point out is that um, the window regulator was actually loose so all these bolts and nuts I think it's like five of them they were all loose 
So I tightened them up. So make sure you check to, and make sure that your uh, window regulator is secured properly. Okay. And now uh, what we did is we lubricated everything, all the joints, uh, window regulator, also preserved the door from the inside to make sure it doesn't rust or anything. And then right now at the end, I actually reinstalled this um, protective film. It's really important. Don't forget about that. And um, uh, I'm waiting for this thing to dry up a little bit now. Um, and like I said, I used uh, silicone grease, uh, I'm sorry, silicone uh, sealant to actually uh, seal up this uh, film back up. Also, make sure before you, when you peel this film back out, like let's say if you need to do some work in here, uh, be very careful and go really slow because you will rip this film, okay? And uh, after I installed the door panel, um, we will run the window up and down, make sure everything is good. Even though I already checked the bow, I'll just show it to you guys. Before reinstalling the panel, make sure you install these clips on here first, in case your clips uh, stayed in the door panel. You have to transfer them. Uh, you have to transfer those clips back onto the door, okay? Because they have to go under the seal a little bit, okay? so you won't be able to do it uh, if they're on the door panel so you have to transfer them back and then it's going to be a lot easier for you to install the panel so the top portion of the door panel is pretty much in right now i'm gonna go inside and reconnect that electrical connector carefully when I reconnect the connector, I'm going to be count counter holding this from this side. That way this thing will not pop out. Okay. Also, let's say if you need to replace the switch on this door panel, don't pry it out of the door panel. Remove the door panel completely because what's going to happen, uh, something uh, bad is going to happen. Um, like on my 190E, when I got this car, somebody who was working on it didn't know what they were doing. So look at this, when I open this door right now, right? This thing is just sitting popped out. And the problem is that it's, I would have to take this door panel off and just glue all these pieces, like this door panel together somehow to make it firm because I can push it in. Okay, I can push it in, right? See? I can make it stay kind of but it's still it's gonna come out and eventually it's gonna just come right out like this okay so be careful um, if you're replacing the switch just the switch remove the door panel guys okay uh, you don't want to risk ruining a nice door panel like this all right take the door panel off and then from the back side there are clips uh, that the switch is sitting on so you'll be able to just uh, push it out slowly now the, the goal here is patience guys okay I've been working on this door for probably like one and a half or two hours right now because I want to make sure that everything is nice nothing is broken uh, and everything is amazing and uh, it's pretty dark right now as you all know but um, you know I got to keep going, I got to keep making this car better <clears throat> and you know I have to, I'll have to ship this car eventually to my dad uh, so I'm just so happy I'm gonna be able to uh, you know uh, make at least some kind of progress on this car tonight uh, by uh, you know taking care of this door. All right, guys, I'm done with the door panel, except for this last piece. This is, a, this is a plastic piece that goes around this area. So this is probably the hardest part to take off when doing this job. So the way I do it is I carefully use plastic tools and just uh, get under here. And then I just kind of like walk back and forth. I have like two plastic tools and I just move it. Uh, like once my tool gets here and then I just like slowly pry it out and it usually works out and it doesn't damage the uh, this plastic part itself so right now we can just reinstall it goes in there or you can also use it says it has the indentation right here 
that you can actually take it off like that but um, it depends just be careful when uh, removing this part okay because this is plastic and especially during winter time like I'm doing right now it's pretty cold so to work this thing in nope not quite yet okay I need to I'll get back to you once I install it but I have to pop this end in first I just don't want to break this so I'll get back to you get this end first and then this one just pushes right in Now let's test our window. Let's make sure everything is good and we can start putting tools back together. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention is that I fluid filmed the, the bottom of the door here. I checked for rust. There's no rust. All right. Um, my initial plan was to remove this seal, but I feel like this seal is like glued on or something because it's like really stiff. I tried to like work it out carefully but I feel like if I put more force it's gonna just rip right off so I don't want to do that and I just uh, fluid filmed everything here underneath so it stays nicely protected it's gonna be amazing there you go guys and eventually with this seal I'm gonna be uh, putting silicone grease on this seal so it's gonna stay nicely uh, protected and lubricated it's really good for rubber okay but other than that yeah I'm really happy uh, I would say I made the uh, 1% more progress on this car all right guys let's go ahead and test this window the key is on and uh, I'm gonna be pressing this switch all right uh, and let's go ahead look at it okay back up also remember when you go back up don't go all the way just do it like this I was teaching uh, you this guys like long time ago that if you go all the way in like that your uh, window regulator is gonna start bending it's gonna cause a lot of stress on that uh, regulator so instead of the way you how you must close your windows on pretty much every car not just Mercedes is before it closes all the way you see the gap right stop and then just press it a little bit like slightly just like this like kind of like slightly not all the way see see that line right there okay that the window is closed but it's like not all the way okay that's what you want this thing is not pressing on the regular this is not gonna cause your regulator to bend so that's really important okay you can go just a slightly bit more just a little bit just like a tiny bit that's good this is actually good you don't see that gap but it's uh, uh i didn't feel like it actually bottomed up if that's a word actually i don't know but uh long story short you don't want this you don't want to hold the switch up uh so this thing closes all the way because otherwise like i said you're gonna cause issues that's why the window regulators uh break and bend on these cars okay all right guys so uh one last thing that i need to do to this panel is very simple put leather conditioner on it so that's what we're gonna do right now leather conditioner everything good stuff all right <laughs> uh, look at all this all right now we're gonna wipe it down not all the way just so it stays wet it's good when it's uh, wet like that so uh, it needs to absorb uh, into the leather itself and material so it's gonna stay protected forever and it's gonna be amazing so let me grab a microfiber towel let's wipe this baby down 
Okay, make it really nice. Here. Like so, look at that. Amazing. Man. Next time I'm gonna clean the windows with the window cleaner. Don't worry, I'm not gonna use wheel bearing grease to clean the windows. I'll use a, a glass cleaner for that, thank you. All right, amazing, isn't it? Just amazing. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope uh, that all these videos are really helpful to you guys. I'm trying to teach you a lot as well and give you all the tips how to maintain and take care of your classic Mercedes and other cars. Uh, so thank you so much for all your support, and I'll see you in the next one. And once again, I'm sorry uh, if it's windy and if it's dark. This is the only time I can uh, work on this car as of right now. Uh, so I come back from work and I go and work on cars and it actually gets dark pretty fast so anyways I'll see you in the next one guys take care be safe So before reinstalling the seal, I actually put um, silicone grease on this seal and then that way it will actually stay uh, protected and there's going to be more protection and better preservation for this uh, door and yeah, no more rust, that's great. This, this door will survive at least another 100 years, okay, good stuff and right now I'm all ready to go, I can just uh, push the seal back on and that's it.